Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to rack focus or pull focus without doing it in the lens. That's right guys, I'm going to show you how to do it inside Premiere Pro and you can do this with any footage. Normally you have a assistant that will adjust the dial so to speak and they'll pull focus on set but a lot of us are just, you know, we make our own videos and we want to add some cinematic effects to it and we want it to look good and we don't have you know fancy DSLRs with high speed or fast lenses and all that good stuff so let me show you how to do it okay here's the original I'm gonna well I'm just gonna show you the effect first so I've started it off with the dog with the pupper is out of focus is blurry and then over the next second you'll see that the dog goes into focus and then the background goes from in focus to blurry. So there are two blurs going on here. I'm going to be pulling the dog like this, so the dog goes in focus. And then if we look at it again, you'll see the background, if you look at it, is going to go to blurry. And then the dog will be up in front and center. So let me show you how I did that. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff. And we're going to start from scratch. Let's just go ahead and delete everything. Why not, right? I'm going to delete that. Okay, so the first step here is I've got some footage of a pupper doing pupper things. I'm going to drag and drop that into my timeline. Now, the dog is just kind of chilling out in the grass. And okay, so let's just go to a right about here. I'm not going to show you how to animate the masks, not because I don't know how to do it, but because I did that in my previous video. So if you have motion in your videos, a lot of motion, and you need to move the mask or move the blur over time, I can show you how to do that as well. It's just in my other video. But for this one, here we go. So we've gone ahead, we've added in the timeline. The next step is you want to go up to your effects panel. Notice that I am in the effects workspace. And under effects, I'm going to type in Gaussian, just like that, G-A-U-S-S, -S, and you'll see Gaussian Blur show up. So I'm going to drag and drop Gaussian Blur onto the timeline. Okay, it doesn't do anything to start, and that is perfectly fine. However, if I just crank the blur up, well, you'll see what it does. <laughs> But that's not what we want to do. Make sure your playhead is at the start, and we are going to grab this free draw bezier, or pen tool, as it's often referred to as. What we're going to do is we're going to left click on it, and then I'm going to very quickly draw a mask around the puppy. And you will notice that this is not an exact mask, and that is on purpose, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, somewhere around there, sure. And we'll just we'll just make this nice and rough. And this isn't if, if this was going into production, I, of course, would spend a little more time than I am here. But this is not, so I'm not too worried about it. But again, it's just to show you the technique, and we'll close the mask. Okay, great. So we've got a mask around the puppy, roughly. The next step is you want to go down to the mask now. So under Gaussian Blur, in Effect Controls, you'll see the mask. When I left-click on it, the mask is highlighted. And now we can go ahead and increase the blurriness. So let's go ahead and increase this to something that looks somewhat realistic to start. So we're, let's go with 45. What the heck? Okay, great. Now this does have very hard lines, so it's very high contrast between the background and the puppy. And what you want to do is you want to increase the mask feather considerably. So I'm going to go ahead and increase it to about 50. Let's go with 50. Okay, good. Now I'm going to click outside and I'm just going to let you look at it. So this looks pretty good. The puppy dog is definitely blurred and the background more or less is quite in focus. Good. We are on our way. Let's go back to the go back to the the blur and now we're going to animate the blur. So this is the fun part. So what you do is you will go to the mask and then you want to left click down here. You see blurriness left click on that stopwatch and we're going to go ahead and decrease the blur so we're going to start with the puppy in blur so the puppy dog is out of focus and then let's say after one second let's go to one yeah let's go to one second the dog has no blur so here's what's happened we've created two two keyframes it starts with the dog out of focus and then once it gets to a second it's in focus it goes from out to in so i'm just gonna hit spacebar and you'll see that gradually the dog loses its focus, which is what we want. Now, to do it, now what we also have to do, because when you rack focus, something goes into focus and something comes out of focus. So there's a second component. 
So what we need to do is we need to make the background, which is this all this grass and stuff, we want that to go from out of focus to in focus. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Or pardon me, in focus to out of focus. That would be better for this. Yes. So we're going to go back to Gaussian Blur here under Effects. We're type in Gauss, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to drag and drop a second drop onto this pupper. So we're going to have two effects running. We've got the first one animated. Now we have a second one going. And on this one, we're going to draw the exact same mask. So I'm going to draw it just like I did on the last one. I'm going to draw it really quickly, though, because I just want to show you the effect, and I don't want to bore you guys. All right, cool. All right, here we go, puppers. And we're going to just nice and easy. All right. Oh, nope. That's a bit too much. Hey, yo. Sorry there, little puppy. Uh, I'm going to take that one, and then we're going to go to here. Come on. There we go. Something like that. And then we'll go to here, and we'll go around the tip of his nose, etc., etc., Again, I'm doing this rough just to teach you the technique. Of course, you'd probably want to go a little bit uh, a little bit more accurate if we were doing this for production. But either way, I've drawn a second mask. And now, what you need to do, and this is very important, left-click on inverted. When you do that, nothing happens yet. But when you add the blurriness, now watch. You'll see that the background is blurring, but the dog is being left alone. So what we want to do is we want the background to have no blur to start. So we're going to left click on that stopwatch. And then after one second, we'll, we'll link it up. We'll, we'll match the time with the other blur. After one second, we're going to blur it to, I don't know, something like, let's go a little over the top. Let's go to like 55. That's too much. But again, I just want to show you the technique. Also, you will see the hard edges around the dog where it's not exactly... Uh, where the mask wasn't 100% perfect. Again, we're going to increase the mask feather considerably. Let's go jack it up to about 50 for this one. Yeah, we want, all right, we want a good mask feather. Okay, good. Now watch what we have. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to click out and dog's out of focus. Background is in focus. As we move the timeline, dog comes into focus background goes out of focus. That is how you rack focus or pull focus in Premiere Pro without using any fancy lenses, no fast lenses, no DSLRs, none of that stuff. We can do it inside Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.